Hi, I'm Gloria Pearson and I'm a certified life coach. Have you ever been betrayed by somebody? And maybe it like came out of nowhere where you felt somebody shoved a door right in your face. Could be a former husband, wife, friend, coworker, or boss. But you know what I know? It hurts. I have been betrayed and it hurts. And I would say the last month or so, the most questions I get people reaching out to me is about betrayal. So this video is how to deal with betrayal. Now, if you enjoy my videos, I ask you to please hit that subscribe button. I'm here to help you manifest the life that you want and that you deserve. But let's go ahead and get started. So today we're going to talk about betrayal. And I want to acknowledge that betrayal hurts. But sometimes it's the story we put to it that makes it even worse and we perseverate on it. So today I want to go over six different steps about dealing with betrayal and then also give you an exercise to do to help you cultivate self-love and start the process to get away from it. So the first is it is a process. And do not deny the pain. Stay with the pain. Deal with it. Maybe do a ritual, either journal, talk about it with somebody, light a candle, but acknowledge the pain of betrayal because it is real. So sit with that and just let that sink in. And again, do a, some type of ritual to start processing it and know it is a process. It's not going to go over way overnight. The pain is not going to go away overnight. It may take days. It may take months. It may take years. I've had some betrayals that took me years to get over, but it gets better and better every day. So that's the first, understand its process and do a ritual. The second, Forgiveness is freeing. Now I hear from so many people, I will never forgive them. And you know what? Because the hurt is so raw, I get that. But just be open to the possibility. Sometime in the future, you may forgive. Let your heart just be open a little bit because if you don't have that forgiveness, it's like tying a boulder around your feet. You are stuck. You are stuck in that energy of betrayal. So just be open to the possibility. And in the meantime, instead of wanting to get revenge, that's the worst because it just backfires at you. Whenever you think of the person, just think, I wish him well. I wish her well and put it out of your mind immediately. And if you can, may God bless them. So don't think bad thoughts about them and please do not get revenge. It's affecting your energy and you don't want that. You want your energy to rise because the universe will send new people in that will love you and respect you and will not betray you. The third, there is no single way to deal with this. I'm giving you some suggestions, but you have to process it the way it works best for you and be gentle with yourself and practice self love. The fourth, you're probably going to want to reenact the situation. That's okay, but limit yourself. Allow three reenactments. That's it. And then when you want to reenact it, switch it to an affirmation. I am loving. I am beautiful. I am kind. So only three reactions. The fourth is if you decide to see this person again, and you may, you have to be open to possibilities. I suggest you limit your time with them. Set some boundaries. So instead of hanging out maybe for a whole day, maybe just meet for a drink, a lunch, limit your time and not every day, maybe once a week, limit your time till you can build up that trust again. The fourth is what are you going to learn from it? Maybe there is a lesson in it for you. Maybe this person was in your life for a reason and it was time for them to move on. Maybe your consciousness has evolved and there's some other people or events coming into your life. The main thing is to not get bitter, stay loving, 
keep your energy high and other things will come in. And that's what this little exercise I'm going to have you do. Because so many people that I've talked to, they're, you're doing the story about what did you do wrong and why did they do this. You'll never know why. You can't control them. All you can control is your own thoughts and your own feelings going forward. So even while you're processing the pain, I want you to do some self-love and realize how fantastic you are as a human being. So I want you to get a sheet of paper or a poster and in the middle I want you to write I am. And I am is a very strong statement because you're aligning yourself with source, with infinite intelligence. So it's important whatever you put after I am. Then up here I want to put, you put, what are your talents? What are you good at? What do you excel at? Put your talents. Who is a role model for you? Write down your role model and what characteristics you have of that role model. Then down here I want you to put some dreams. What are your dreams? What are your desires? Here, I am. And again, what you put after that is important. So I'm going to give you some ideas. I am loving, polite, adventurous, glamorous, compassionate, generous, responsible, helpful, intelligent, thoughtful. Those are just suggestions. So write a few things. What are you? And then down here, I want you to write one good thing that happened to you this week. Even though you had a betrayal, what was one good thing that happened to you? Now this is your happy sheet. It's your happy sheet. So when you're feeling down and betrayed, I want you to look at the fantastic qualities that you have. Your talents, your role model, your dreams, the I am, and one good thing that happened to you this week. This works, so do that. Now, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel and like the videos and sharing is caring because I'm here to help you raise your consciousness to create the life that you want and that you deserve. Sending you lots of love and light. Until next time.